Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're here today, we're going to do, um, I would say it's another unboxing, but um, it's an unboxing that I'm just going to see if the deal is exactly the same. Now, if you've watched previous videos, I have done a super drug haul. Um, basically, I ordered the Revolution 3 for 2 and I, I kind of revealed all that with you lot and I opened the boxes and then I also did the L'Oreal deal which um, I usually don't buy L'Oreal just find it's a little bit out of my price range if I want to go and buy makeup I tend to buy everything in in one go so basically if I need foundation concealer um, eye pencil blusher everything like that I will buy in one day for me to go out and buy everything in L'Oreal in one day you're talking maybe about maybe 150 to 200 pound and that's just not going to happen when you're on a budget so basically i took advantage of the spend 25 pound and you will get a 50 pound worth of products free l'oreal obviously so i shared that with you guys and you you've seen what i got i'll go through with that quickly now so you can rejog your memory so I went out and bought the the foundation which is the infallible 24 hour fresh wear and I got the shade 235 in Mel Honey so I got that guys I've not tried any of this out it's still sealed as you can see I also went ahead and bought the infallible more than concealer as well in the 336 shade so bearing in mind I am working up to 25 pounds to get this mystery bag so I bought them too and then I thought mm, I'm near enough reaching my um, 25 pound mark anyway um, and then I went ahead and bought this micro tattoo brow artist pen which I showed you um, this is brilliant guys I actually really like this although I've not really dipped into it too much because I am going to be doing a full face of L'Oreal and this is where this leads to so bear with me so I got that and then with all that I got my £50 free bag and in that £50 free bag I received the L'Oreal Glow Drops which I was really happy about so I thought Brill not opened that either guys i have gone ahead and opened the volume million lashes because i absolutely love this if you see the applicator has a slight curve not too much of the mascara is left on the brush which i think is fantastic i can't stand having too much mascara on your brush i think it's a waste but i've actually got that on at the minute and i've had this on since um seven o'clock this morning and guys i'm quite happy with that um so i got that in with the fris the frisky no I'm not the free mystery bag I also got this um, tinted lip oil I was really happy with this because it was in a shade number four and it's I can never see anything without my glasses it's a hot cerise now this is more like um, like a lip gloss or oil as ever you want to call it it's more of a lip topper and I absolutely love it love it love it love it so I was really happy that I got that I also got the L'Oreal Crushed Foil Metallic in Gold and I've actually used this, um, I can't remember which makeup look I was doing, I think I was using the Revolution um, sticks which was these ones, um, the only problem I found is cut creasing and using this is a little bit too much, you don't need to, which I said in the last video, but then to go over the gold just to make it pop out a little bit more, I went in with this shade, now guys, this is highly pigmented and I absolutely love it, and this stayed on my eyes for a good 12, maybe 16 hours, I didn't take it off till really late, early hours in the morning, so we got that as well, so for me i was thinking yeah this is great and then i got this um infallible blush paint and when i did the video i was rather impressed because it actually smells like sweets like candy sweets still does and you get these five shades in them and as you can see i have swatched them slightly i haven't used this either guys so everything that i got 
with that deal I have not used so that was all I had so far with L'Oreal but then I went ahead and bought this little palette which I will sorry if I'm using my scissors guys to get in my fingers are really sore at the minute had a bit of a disaster with nails so I'm letting my own nails breathe and grow again but I got this little palette as well comes with a little lip applicator I probably won't use that um, in various shades I think there's a brown is a purple more like a pinky red a dark red orange and like a gold absolutely fab and with having that gold metallic eyeshadow this was a bonus now I actually bought this from marketplace and it was four pound um, and then as I went in and I seen it I think it was in Superdrug and it was a lot more expensive so I was quite happy with that little little deal so guys I thought this deal for the um, the mystery bag would have ended by now and it seems to me like the three for two still hasn't ended it was still going on today and we're on the 4th of March now so I thought okay so somewhere on Instagram I read that this was only a four day deal but from what I can see it this deal still on so I don't know who's getting the information wrong but thanks guys because you're making me look like an absolute it so I went a, I went back online and to see if the mystery bag was still on because I thought to do a full face of L'Oreal I really need to complete the rest of the products because yes I may have the fundamental fundamental base of my makeup there but I've got no primer I've got no eyeliner and I thought maybe if I get another mystery bag maybe that will be filled with some more goodies that I haven't got maybe a palette so I was really excited that the offer was still on but then I thought just to be on the safe side I ordered um, £29 worth of stuff and what I ordered is actually here I haven't looked at it yet so we're going to go and look through that now um so i thought i'll just order some things just in case so i ordered i think there was about four products yes four products and it came to 29 pound 97 so i thought and it was three for two on all products as well so i got my three for two it should have been a lot more than 29 pound guys it should have come to something like 38 pound or something to that effect so i'm just trying to get the best out of this deal before it ends so um I went today to collect it which was happy days I, I ordered it the night before and ordered it the next day fast simple easy to do I knew I was going to town today so it wasn't too bad um, so when I went into Superdrug I had a mooch round because I know that I needed a few things anyway so I stuck to the revolution um, is is probably the more affordable for me as well as the collection um, I don't think they've got a Technic um, brand there as such but they've got Barry M so I do look at Barry M I do look at like the bourgeois section and the Rimmel and the Revlon and so on uh, Max Factor but some of the stalls like Gosh is a little bit too pricey for me I look at the elf stand um, but I've got a fair few of elf products already so that I actually wanted so I don't really see a lot of like lip products on elf and i really wanted another lipstick so i went to the revolution and i bought another concealer now i know i'm buying a lot of these concealers and the only reason is online you try and find your shade seems to be near enough impossible to me so i got a c8 today because this is more my shade and um the ones I got before, which guys I've not opened, they are in this drawer. Let me just grab them now so you can see. Just to prove I, I have got some of the shades and my hair is stuck on it. I don't know how that's happening. So I got a C12. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm going to explain why I feel the urge to cough every two minutes, just in a second. So I got a C12. Um, it's not too dark. But it's, it's dark enough but then I got this C9.2 and that was a little bit too dark for me 
so I'd probably use that as a little bit of contour so I got them two and that's my cut crease one so I've actually got I've got three of these now so there's nothing wrong with building up your collection of different shades I mean it's all trial and error um, and then I also bought this Sophie um, lipstick now I could have sworn I ordered this in my big order that I did but for some reason it seems to have disappeared off my um, list and I have no idea why that is. I don't know if I'm getting confused with the Revolution site because guys I will switch from Superdrug to Revolution quite a lot and I think it's just to get the best out of both. Um, when it comes to the products I mean I get a lot of sales stuff I will look at any um, promotions that they have on so I didn't get the Sophie lipstick and I've gone ahead and I bought the Sophie X palette which looks absolutely fab I will try that but then I went ahead and bought the Sophie X lipstick because I do watch Sophie I do like her stuff I like the way she applies her makeup so why not so I got a syrup in this and as you can see again it says Sophie X on the lipstick but I'm a sucker for these these tones let's see if I can just wipe this because at the moment I've actually got Primark lipstick on and I'm just keeping it quite neutral today guys I've not got any eyeshadow on I have got bare minimal um, as far as makeup goes today I mean I'm not an everyday makeup girl I don't even do my eyebrows on a daily basis. If I'm having a really bad chronic pain day, I don't brush my hair, I don't brush my teeth, I don't do anything, I stay in bed. And guys, that is a serious thing. But I do have them days, guys, so I may be looking a bit bright and sparky today, but them days are not always. So let's try this. Colour and see. Oh, it actually feels really smooth. And I say that about all lipsticks, but mm, that's actually a big chunk of it come off my lip though. Can you see it? Now guys, sorry about the sound. It's it's raining cats and dogs here. Like all day, so it's a bit rubbish actually. So as you can see, it's quite a nice colour. It's a nice shade that I'd probably wear this as an everyday look, this lipstick any lipsticks that I use for every day I always stick on my little shelf there so guys it was three for two this was four pound that concealer was four pound obviously the third item um, I got was slightly higher so I, I would have just had the four pound knocked off because you get the, it's the cheaper item that you get knocked off so I went ahead and bought the Revolution um, brow from it and the reason being is I'm, I'm trying every little product as far as eyebrows go to see what works best for me I have the powders, I have the gels, I have the pomades, I have the pens um, I've even got that, that tattoo artist pen from L'Oreal I just want to see what I get out of them that's best and if I'm to be completely honest with you so far for me the Freedom pomade has been working really well as you can see I've not used that much and it probably goes a very long way um, and I don't really have big eyebrows because I have to create them so I've been using that but I found it a little bit too dark I feel I mean a lot of people said no no that, that's fine it's kind of go with your hair shade but I'm still getting used to the fact that I'm drawing eyebrows on so I got this in a soft brown thinking that this might actually be better so it comes in a little glass jar like this it doesn't look like there's actually anything in it when you look at it like that but this shade is a lot lighter and I think if I compare this to the freedom shade which is what I've got on my eyes right now so if I, sh if I compare the two you can see a massive difference in shades I think this may work better on my eyes but we'll see we'll see that was five pound guys so I ended up paying for that and maybe the lipstick and I got the concealer free because it's three for two so that was fine I was happy with that so I've got that pomade and then I picked up these lashes they had about four different choices of these lashes and I thought oh I've never seen them before um, I'll just have a quick read guys because I've actually not looked at anything so these are super drug eyelashes so it seems to me like super drug I've got a few of their own um, brands that's that's just there cheap affordable let's grab it 
99p I think they had four and they had brushes as well guys which were super drugs on brushes they were quite loud and wacky in fact I liked them and I probably will go back and get the set because I think you'd probably get the whole set it probably cost you about 15 pound which is not too bad for a full set of, of wacky brushes don't know how they will be but at that price I'm not like bothered so I picked up these eyelashes which was the extra volume 401 I just think they are more me and I'm not really high up on lashes don't really like putting them on so I got that so then guys last item that I picked up and this is why I am coughing my lungs up my husband thinks it's really funny to spray something that I told him I didn't like the smell of so me and my friend Vanessa today bought one of each I got this one which was the berry cassis and fig and it's 50 mil bloom collection and I just thought for 99p wow it might be really nice as just a room um, deodorizer because I do have room deodorizers for in here um, because obviously I'm in a conservatory it gets cold I like to keep it smelling nice and fresh so anyway she got the green one and I got the purple one <coughs> excuse me and I smelt hers first and it smelt like toilet cleaner and we just we just couldn't stop laughing because it was like no we will not be putting this onto our skin just not happening so then I opened mine and oh my god I could not stop coughing the smell is is just not for me now everybody thinks it smells like coconut which I love the smell of coconut this reminds me of an ashtray like a really dirty filled ashtray not to my taste and I don't think I'll even use it as a, a deodorizer so guys if you're gonna go on Superdrug and buy these just be very wary that they're not really really suitable for your skin unless you want to smell like a toilet or an ashtray so with that said it's gonna go on my desk just as a cosmetic standby for whatever whatever it's it's gonna be for I can't take it back so I'm gonna open this now guys so this is the other spend 25 pound L'Oreal and get the free mystery bag now what I am hoping now guys is this bag is filled with new things and not the same because I really want to try and complete my full face so I can do a full face of L'Oreal for you as a tester I've already done the Primark and um, that stayed on guys all the way till three o'clock in the morning when I took it off and it was fine a little bit of blotchiness on the eyeshadows but nothing nothing major so I was quite impressed by that so just take the packaging out so from what I can see this is my little haul that I bought so to complete my look I went in and bought the L'Oreal um, Very Much Love eyeshadow mega palette or two and um, they had I think they had two of these they had like a brown um, natural shades like your your beiges and your browns your ivories and your biscuits and I thought I have so many of that shade so I thought I'm gonna go for the brighter palette so I went for this this was $14.99 by the way guys um, with it being um, three for two I think I got it slightly cheaper anyway so this is a mixture of purples pinks corals maybe a light peachy shade and some light browns I think this is a really nice palette actually it's not giving as it's mega in size but I can imagine the pigment on these are pretty goddamn good if they're anything like the foil metallic so I'm just gonna swatch the odd colors and oh my lord now guys these are a mixture of matte and shimmer so I'm just gonna mix the two up yeah that is definitely a shimmer one so I've gone in that was that purple on the corner there I think that was the other purple next to it then that was the pink above and then that one so as you can see they are quite um, pigmented let's just have a quick they are quite nice colours um, bit powdery the, the matte but nothing major 
Um, I don't know how they will punch out on the eyes. I'm happy to give it a go. But I needed this to finish my tutorial um, on L'Oreal Full Testing Makeup. So I got that $14.99, so I was happy with that. Nice little palette. Um, and then I also went in and bought a primer. There was three different, from what I could see, there was three to four different primers. I went in with this one. Let me just see if I can open it. Got my scissors today, guys. And from what I remember with L'Oreal, they packaged their items extremely hard. Tough packaging to get in. And I spend most of my time trying to get into products. Crazy. Get really frustrated when I can't get into something. So, guys, so this one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pore Refining Primer. And it's um, anti-pores. Can't read the small writing guys, I am not that good, but from what I can see it's it's actually packaged Oh are you joking me, is it packaged twice? They've actually packaged it twice. I wondered why I can't get into it then. Oh come on, you're having a giraffe. I know I shouldn't do it, but twice do you have to wrap something up twice? making sure nobody tests it so it's a little let me just give it a little oh 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 it's pink it's like a little pink dot let me just have a oh that's real oh god that is really nice guys oh that feels lovely and it kind of gives you like a a shimmery gold uh gold like a, a glowing colour. Smells quite nice as well, guys. So I think that one was around $8.99 and that one was $14.99. And then I went in and bought an eye pencil because I can cope with doing my waterline with any old pencil. It don't really bother me. But my top line has to be a proper product. I can't be doing with... Um, I can't be doing with the, the ones that I like, the pommes. They're just too fiddly for me. So I went ahead and bought the Tattoo Signature Super Liner, um, Extra Black. I think this one was maybe $8.99. And it actually matches, the little design matches with the brow one. So that's quite fab. And as you can see, it is like a felt tip pen. I've actually been using this one today, which is the Technic one. Oh, it's my, actually my super. I've actually just been using that side. I forgot it was the super stamper as well, because it's got a little super stamper. So I've been using that one today because I usually use the Revolution, but I've, I found that yesterday when I opened it, there was black ink all over my, my desk. I don't know what was happening. I didn't shake it or anything but when I used it earlier on today it was all right so yeah so that was that guys and last but not least I bought a lipstick and I think I bought this not because I needed it because I could have finished my eye look by maybe getting a fixing powder because I didn't buy a fixing powder they were like $16.99 and I don't necessarily like using powder that much so I thought I'm gonna scrap the powder um, and then I didn't buy a fixing spray because to be completely honest I have got fixing spray but it's not top of my list I mean I have this one here I've got Maybelline down there I've got um, Primark down there I've got Revolution Pro I don't need any more fixing spray to be honest so I didn't bother with that either so I thought I'd treat myself to a lipstick just because I wanted it not because it was part of the makeup full face look and I went for this colour, so it's Storm, and it's a matte lipstick, and it's 908, and look at the cover, it is beautiful, I love the casing for it, and the colour is amazing. Now I know I've just put the Sophie X on my lips, but I really like that one. And I don't know if I'd probably wear this more going out. I'll just take that little label off it so let's give it a let's give it swapped <gasps> mm. okay yeah 
it's actually quite um, gothy. Mm, it tastes like candy floss. It's, why is all the makeup products like sweetified? Do you know what I mean? Like Revolution have like the the chocolate palettes and stuff. I don't know if they'd actually like smell like it. They just look like chocolate. These actually taste like sweets. Mmm. I really like that guys. Yeah. I think that one was quite expensive. I think that was $8.99. But I like paying for my lipsticks. I have MAC lipsticks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy some Anastasia lipsticks very, very soon. So I don't mind paying for my lipsticks because it's something that I do use all the time. But as for other things, I, I, don't, I don't really like to, to throw my money on sprays and primers and powders. I just like to make sure I've got a good foundation, a good concealer, a good blusher, a good highlighting kit. I don't really bother with bronzing either. Um, and as long as I've got a good eye pencil and mascara, I'm, I'm quite happy at that and a one good palette. So I have really ventured out when it comes to makeup, guys. You should be really proud of me because I was a one trick kind of, I had one item of everything apart from lipstick and eye pencils. So the bag looks pretty much the same as the last one. Um, it's a little bit concerned because I really want to find something new. No guys, no, just no. Okay, all right, so I thought it might, is it exactly the same? Oh, it's exactly the same. No, right, so this is why I do this, this kind of thing, guys. This is why I do it. And I'll explain why now. Oh, okay, so. When I did the £25 mystery bag with um, Revolution, I ordered two. The first one that I got, um, I was happy with what I got. I got the Pro Iconic 2 palette and I got a highlighting palette. I got a matte lipstick. I got a brush. I was really happy with what I got, the £25 bag. And then I ordered it again just to see if I got the same products. And it was only the space of maybe a week and a half apart maybe even less than that maybe four days apart and i ordered it and it came and it had different items in it i did get another highlight palette that looked like the first one but there were three different shades so i thought maybe this will be the same with the l'oreal but guys it isn't i have exactly the same items exactly the same as the first 50 pound bag so that might save you some money guys if you think that you're going to do what i did and buy two mystery bags hoping you'll get one bag different from the other unfortunately guys that's not the case <coughs> and it's only been it's only been like a, maybe four days five days in between i think this offer is going to be the same kind of and i mean everything is identical even down to the lip oil it's not a different color I've got two of everything now, um, which I'm not complaining. That's fine by me, but I have now not completed my my whole L'Oreal look because I was hoping that I might get some different kind of products in here to mix and match it up when I do do a full face. So that's that, guys. That was that was that little um, a little kind of lesson if you want to call that and it's not about being greedy it's just the fact that I wanted to finish my full face of L'Oreal on a budget and it turned out that I got double if you want to look at it like that I've pretty much got a full face now I ain't gonna go out and buy another one guys it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna buy any more L'Oreal products unless these blow me my socks off and I will go out and get them again okay guys so 
I definitely recommend that lipstick. It is absolutely fab. I mean, mm, it's fantastic. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put any of the eyeshadow on me today because I have got a mix of Revlon on my face today um, and Maybelline, so I really want to do a full face of L'Oreal when I do it. So if you want to see that video, guys, pop a comment on below. Say, yes, Rachel, let's get on with it. Sorry you got two of the same things. Maybe, maybe further on down the line, these will come in handy or they can be used as, um, as a giveaway. Right now, I'm not at that stage where I'd be giving anything away. Maybe when I get past the thousand stage, we'll start doing some giveaways. So pop your comments down below, guys. Let me know what you think if you've had the same products as me if you've done the same thing as me or i'm all i'm the only nitwit that's done it <laughs> okay so don't forget to subscribe because we need them subscriptions guys and don't forget to watch all the other videos as well because lots more on there for you to see have a look at my past videos i've only been doing this a month guys but have a look at the beginning so now we're getting a little bit better um and also um share share the more you share the more people will know that i'm here a lot of people are just finding me on a whim at the minute with certain um videos that i'm putting up um but it'd be very nice for a few more people to join uh, our little our little family um i've had a few comments um from people who have have said recommend this or we've done that or thank you i appreciate them comments guys Mwah, keep them coming and i've had some very nice comments as well from people who understand my my daily um living and living with a disabled child as well so thanks for that for that comment guys you all know who you are it means a lot to me so let's get this family growing let's get some more pr because we ain't got any <laughs> okay guys until the next one take care of yourself and each other bye for now